Hi everyone, this is Heather Lautinen from the Flourish Academy, where our goal is to empower, educate, and elevate you to create a life that you love through the art and business of photography. Today, we are going to talk about workflow. So I selected a few images from this recent newborn session, and we are gonna take it through the entire process, integrating Lightroom and Photoshop together. I began by creating a folder inside of my 2017 clients and August with the last name of Taylor. And I just put two images in here so we could get through this pretty quickly. Let's jump over to Lightroom and press Command Shift I in order to import those photographs. In my left hand panel, I am going to choose August and I'm going to include subfolders, say OK to that, and import. Now that I have these imported, you can see in my panel on the left that Lightroom is a reflection of the exact file structure that is happening on my external hard drive. Let's jump these photos into the develop module by pressing D on the keyboard. So I'm gonna do some really quick cleanup. And the intent of this video is not to teach you how to edit these photos, but just to show the process I go through from beginning to end. I'm going to start by placing my favorite preset from my friend Susie. It's available on the Flourish Academy. I'll post the link below and I'm just going to tweak it a little bit more in the basic panel. I'm going to zoom in and use Q on my keyboard in order to remove this little scratch on his cheek. Q to drop that tool. That image looks pretty good. There's the before and after. Let's jump to this one. Again, I'm going to add my favorite preset and then make a few tweaks really quickly in the basic panel. Zooming in again and using the spot removal tool in order to remove the little scratch on his face. And this is my gorgeous friend, Samantha. And yes, she did just birth that baby boy. <laughs> Isn't she amazing? Okay, what's gonna happen next is now that I'm done in Lightroom, I'm going to select both of those images and press Command Shift E in order to export. Now I've created an export preset that I call High Res 4 Print. It goes into a subfolder with that same name directly under the original folder, which is the client last name, and includes the raw files. That way they're nice and neat and just nested underneath the originals. I don't rename at this point. These go out as high quality JPEGs without any resizing in a resolution of 300. Now in post-processing, I'm just gonna say show in Finder. You could do this for Windows Explorer as well. And that's just a visual indication that, hey, Lightroom is done exporting and here's where your files are and then go ahead and choose export. So there they are in the high res for print folder and you can see that Lightroom created that folder inside of the Taylor folder so everything is nice and neat together. Now at this point, if this were an entire session, I would only take the photos into Photoshop that need some additional work. Now in this case, I'm gonna bring these both into Photoshop. Now I like to do it this way. I'm gonna jump into Lightroom just really quickly and show you I do not care for the edit in, edit in Photoshop, and that's because it tends to explode the file size. This is not my preferred method for connecting Lightroom in Photoshop, nor would I recommend it at this point. I like to export my files to this folder and then open them independently inside of Photoshop. So just select both of these images and drop them into Photoshop. And really, these do not need a lot of Photoshop work, but I'm gonna run my retouch action to soften the skin really quickly. Here's the before and the after, and I'm gonna dial back on the opacity of that a little bit. I'm going to press Command Shift E in order to flatten this image and then Command S to save, choosing a quality of 10 and then OK. Command W to close. I'm gonna do the same thing for this image, just really quickly run my retouch action so I can soften his skin a little bit. And here's the before and after. And the nice thing about this retouch action is you can dial it into taste so you can reduce the opacity because typically you would not want to run it at 100%. If you'd like more information on this action, I do have it available on the Flourish Academy website. The link is below. Command Shift E to merge all of those layers down. And you know what? I noticed that his feet are a little bit magenta. So I'm just going to run this action that I created in order to reduce red on newborn skin. And I'm just going to brush over really quickly 
to just reduce some of that redness. And here's the before and after. I'm going to reduce that opacity a little bit. Command Shift E again, Command S to save. Yep, JPEG 10 is fine. 12 is overkill. And Command W to close. Now, if I jump out to Finder, I mean, we have finished these images, they're done, but I actually like to bring my finished JPEGs into Lightroom as well so that I can keyword them and organize them further. So let's jump over to Lightroom, another Command Shift I to import, and this time I'm going to select the folder High Res for Print and choose Import. Now, what you'll notice in my left panel is that I have the originals and the JPEGs together. And I would, if this were an entire session, I would rename the photos at this point, and I would also keyword them and organize them using stars, colors, label, etc., so that it's easier to work with them later. I hope that you found this useful. I'll see you in the next video.